In this video, you'll learn how to identify your dimensions and measures, and how to classify your data into nominals, ordinals, intervals, and ratios in order to better understand their usage in analysis. In a world of ever-increasing data volumes, the ability to visually communicate insights from data is an essential skill set. Visualization should serve a clear purpose and not overwhelm the user with unnecessary details. If possible, a visualization should be designed to encourage the user to compare its various elements, so as to give insight into the meaning behind the data. So to design a data visualization that gets its message across, you first need to understand the data itself. You should start by asking yourself, what do I want to show? The answer is usually sales, quantity, or some other number. This is your measure. The second question you should ask yourself is how many times should this measure be calculated? How do I want to group the data shown in this measure? The answer could be something like once per month or something different. This is your dimension. Data can be divided into nominals, ordinals, ratios, and intervals. Ordinals and nominals are usually your dimensions. Ratios and intervals are usually your measures, your numbers. Ordinals are fields with qualitative values that have intrinsic order. For example, ratings such as satisfied, neutral, or unsatisfied, which have no numeric meaning. Or size like large, medium, and small. Or position. Nominals are fields with qualitative values that lack intrinsic order, such as product or customer, and so on. Ratios are fields with quantitative values and represent amounts. These can include sales, quantity, or weight. You can add, subtract, divide, and multiply ratios. Intervals are fields with quantitative values that are like coordinates. For example, date, longitude, and temperature, among others. Understanding how your data will be classified will help determine which chart type is best suited for representing your data.